welcome to Salt Lake City, Utah. And now, taking the field, the visiting team, the Dallas Desperados. And now, please welcome the home team, the Utah Blades. The extra point yeah, attempt is good. Next time. The extra point attempt is good. Like a little 
Second and seven. Ball on the 17 yard line. Come on, come on. Third and three. Ball on the 22 yard line. First and goal, ball on the eight yard line. Second and goal. Ball on the 12 yard line. Make some move. Push the line. The pass falls incomplete. Johnson, the intended receiver, on the play. Third and goal. Ball on the 12 yard line. Incomplete pass. Ryan on the cover. The pick is no good. Violation of the five yard kicking belt, number eighty four, first down. First and ten, ball on the ten yard line. Thank you very much. There you go, practice real quick. You need it. First and ten, ball on the eleven yard line. The extra point attempt is good. Start the drive at the 14 yard line. First and 10. Move it, move it. 
Third and nine. Ball on the 15 yard line. goes through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Ball on the five-yard line.
They'll start the drive at the 15-yard line. First and 10. They turn over half wings. Yeah. We need to put the pressure on. Right. Give them on their uh. toes, you know? Do it. First and ten. Ball on the ten yard line. Make some room. Keep it tight.
offense calls a timeout. We can't get the fuel out there, see? They'll take over at the 15-yard line. First and 10. of the first half, the score is the home team, 35, Dallas, 24. the third quarter of play. The whole team, 35, Dallas, 24. Point attempt is good.
Dallas will start the drive at the nine yard line. First and ten. The extra point attempt is good.
First and ten. Ball on the 12 yard line. Second and 14. Ball on the eight yard line. The extra point attempt is good. Dallas will start the drive at the 18-yard line. First and 10. The extra point attempt is good. At the end of the third quarter, the score is the Hall team, 52, the away team, 45. Number two, still first down. Raf, I can't believe you called a penalty on that. I mean, you're in the wrong occupation. Let me tell you, you should have been a prison warden. First and ten, ball on the six-yard line. The extra point attempt is good.
The kickoff goes through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. Johnson with the reception, seven yard gain on the play. Second and three, ball on the 12 yard line. Make the move. Come on, come on. The extra point attempt is good. A wall now. Right. A wall that bounces yeah. us back. Go on. First and ten. Ball on the six yard line.
first and ten. Ball on the 13 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 13 yard line. The defense calls a timeout. Yeah! <laughs> I gotta dance! I gotta dance! Here we go! Get out of here! Brought to you by proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. Welcome to Offense 101. We're going to equip you with the basic tools you'll need to be successful as an offensive player. After getting into formation, snapping the ball is an easy two-step process. Start the ball with the first press of the snap button. This will start the receiver in motion if it's part of the play. The second press of the snap button will actually snap the ball. All receivers will run their routes from where they are at the moment of the snap. So make sure you don't take the hike too soon. 
If you take too long, the center will snap the ball automatically before the motion receiver crosses the line of scrimmage. There are a couple of options if you choose to call an audible. Initiate the call with the audible button and pick from any of the preset plays. Or initiate the hot route function with the hot route call button. Here, designate the appropriate receiver with his icon and call his preset route with the route controls. As always, you can cancel with the audible cancel button here. If you want to see the formation revealing only the receiver's icons, use the Coach Cam button. To see the play as it's called, use the Coach Cam play button. The primary receiver's route will be displayed in orange, and the secondary receivers are yellow. Any motion that takes place in the pre-snap will be shown in blue. Your player is designated with the player icon beneath him. After the snap, use the controls to move your player around the field. As the QB, you need to know how to throw to your receivers. Use the control that matches the receiver's icon to throw to that chosen receiver. To fake pump, tap the fake pump button. To throw the ball away, use this button. And to scramble, press the QB scramble button here. If you want to control the intended receiver, press the switch player button here when the ball is in the air. To try for the reception, use the catch button here when the ball is in the air. While running, you can run faster by pressing the turbo button anytime. Hold the hurdle button down to hurdle over a player. Tap the same button to dive for extra yardage. Tap or hold the juke spin button to have your player attempt an evasive move like a juke or a spin. Press the stiff arm button here, and your rushing player will attempt a stiff arm on the closest defender to prevent attack. Sometimes you just have to bear down and cover the ball. This control will have you put both hands over the ball and protect from a fumble when things get hairy. Get right in the action of the quick pace, fast, intensive game of arena football by being the receiver before the catch. Using the offensive switch player button here, cycle through the receivers and the QB, then snap the ball as you normally would. Now it's up to you in the field. Break from the playbook and just try to get open. When you're ready, have the quarterback throw to you. He'll lead you, so don't deviate if you're on the run. Or have him throw to another receiver if the coverage is all over you. The kicking controls are different, so listen up. When the arrow comes up, you can use the aiming controls to point the direction you'd like the ball to go. Accept the direction by hitting the accept button here. When the kick meter is displayed, move the controls back for power and quickly push them forward for accuracy. If you move the controls too far to the left or the right, you run the risk of flubbing your kick, so be careful. Here are a few tips to speed up your game and save some time. To have the team rush into a formation after a play, quickly press the hurry up button after the play is called. There's an easy way to call a timeout. During the gameplay, you don't have to go to the pause menus. You can call a timeout anytime by pressing the in-game timeout button. Now let's get out there and light up the scoreboard. This punishment brought to you by proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. It's time for Defense 101. When we're through, you'll have no problem making life difficult for the offense. Your player is designated by the player icon beneath them. Use the controls to move your player around the field. Your player will automatically straight left or right, as well as backpedal with light pressure on the controls. Further pressure will have them run in that direction. To switch back and forth through the defenders, use the controls here. Before the ball is snapped, you can change the defensive play with an audible call from within the formation to one of three preset defensive plays. You can reset the type of coverage to bump and run or lose coverage, and canceling an audible is as easy as using the cancel button. Two specific audible controls for the Mac linebacker exist. Well, it's Mac linebacker and spy Mac linebacker. If at any time you need to change the type of pressure on any specific receiver of your opponents, you can use the control buttons to bump and run or play off the receiver. To see the formation with only the receiver's icons, use the Coach Cam button. To see the play as it's called, use the Coach Cam play button. These are zone defenses, and when the defensive backs are playing man-to-man, -man, it will look like this. 
To get into the action after the snap, hit the switch players button and become the closest defender to the ball. To avoid the block and get past your man when you're engaged, try the rip, swim, spin control. Use the turbo button to run in a sprint at any time. To lay out a big hit, use the tackle button. But your player is committed to as big a tackle as he can muster. This makes for awesome crashes, and you're sure to hear pads pop. It is also nearly impossible to correct from the commitment, and you could end up with nothing but air. During the game, you may notice the quarterback is favoring a particular receiver. Use the coverage maneuvers controls to have your defensive backs converge on this guy and make it nearly impossible for him to complete the pass. To highlight the linebacker's restrictions, a box graphic will appear on the field. Remember, the linebackers in arena football are watched closely by the officials. During the play, only the MAC linebacker can leave the box and only when rushing the quarterback. The MAC can blitz right or left of the center, but never outside. There's an easy way to call a timeout. During the gameplay, you don't have to go to the pause menus. You can call timeout by pressing the in-game timeout button.